What's going on YouTube? Spencer D and uh, I just wanted to talk about this dude. His name is uh, Elliot Atwell. A-T-W-E-L-L. -L. And recently he has been busted for a scandal involving the kind of the Gymshark crew uh, from the East Coast like uh, Dylan McKenna, David Laid, and then the rest of those cats that kind of followed David Laid, essentially. Um, a bunch of them were coached by this dude, Elliot Atwell, and he is being busted for asking some of these young men and women to send him explicit photos and videos and asking them to record stuff. I mean, that's pretty bit absurd to me if you guys want to see some of these other videos uh, that like Greg Duchette posted or even Kenny KO posted. Um, they actually show proof with text messages and things like that on the screen. Um, I recently watched in full length these videos and, and did a little research on Google and it's crazy. That is terrible that somebody is out there doing that especially to underage um, young men and women into the fitness industry like that's just ridiculous um, or asking them to use PEDs you know what I mean like that's just definitely bad bad and shady and uh, you know terrible for the fitness industry in general you know and if if you just spend a little bit of time and go over to Greg Duchette's channel and just watch that, um, you'll get a better grasp on what I'm talking about. But um, his name is Elliot Atwell, and it sounds like that the some of that group, some members of that group over there, um, I think Lex Little even being one of them, and then uh, another guy, he's coming to California soon, I think. Um, they have taken it to the police and now they have the police involved and it's kind of there at the moment so we will see what it becomes or if they have enough evidence to you know make a case against this guy or, or whatever it may be but ah uh, that's just pretty crazy it bothers me you know seeing that because you know it just reminds you that the internet is a scary place uh for whatever you're putting putting yourself out there on the internet, whether it be like a YouTube video or, you know, stuff you're posting, um, or not even, maybe you're just DMing somebody or whatever, and they're screenshotting you and, and this and that. So it's just another reminder to be very, very careful what you put out on the internet. But yeah, I definitely encourage you guys to go check out, um, Elliot Atwell, just throw his name in Google or YouTube or whatever, uh, and then watch Kenny Ko's video or Greg Duchesne's video. Um, or I think, uh, there's another another couple dudes that did like a podcast on it and that scandal. So you can find them. Um, but yeah, man, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, pretty crazy, man. I'm just blown away. Um, I really hope that gets resolved and put to a, a better place um, and justice is served. Um, but with coronavirus, we will see. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me change the subject here. Uh, the rest of this video is uh, a little bit of how I warm up and then my current condition. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know what you guys think about Elliot Atwell in the comments below. Spencer D. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? Spencer D here, and I'm going to show you guys how I warm up for like a shoulder day or a pressing day or some sort of upper body day. Uh, just kind of a ritual that I go through uh, with like an 8 pounds, a 5 pounds, sometimes even 10 pound weight to warm up the shoulders and a bit of the back back there. So basically what I do is I grab an 8 pound weight and I start doing some side raises, about 10 to 12 of these to each arm like that. And then what I do is I also want to warm up my rotator cuffs. So I'll switch my arm to a 90 degree position like this and rotate up about 15 to 20 reps each arm.
and then I'll also bring it down at a different angle which is right here on my side and I'll rotate about 15 to 20 reps out like that and overall I'll feel a little bit of a stretch from my shoulder into my chest this is kind of what a side view looks like again I want to do each arm here And then sometimes it's good to warm up the rear delt area, especially if you're doing like a pull day or something like that. So what you can do is you can just uh, bend over a little bit and bring it up to the side, almost like uh, a backwards fly for the chest. So if you imagine doing a fly for the chest, you're just doing it backwards. So right up into there, just like that. <clears throat> get a little bend, get that delt. And you just wanna feel a contraction right back there in the rear delt area. So, there's a little tip for the day. I just got done training back. I did like uh, pull-ups, four sets of pull-ups. I did after that neutral grip pull-downs. And then after that, I did single arm cable rows. <clears throat> after that, I did reverse grip pull-downs. And then what else did I do? Rack pulls right after that. And now I'm in here filming a little video for you guys. But I'll put the uh, workout in the description so if you guys want to try it. Uh, be my guest and then I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a physique update and then maybe do some things in here That's a great warm up too. Those are uh, body weight rows basically. Um, let's do some battle ropes just for fun. fluffy. Need to clean it up a bit. Get a little more defined and bigger in some areas. But it's it's a little challenging. I've been sick. And then uh, just eating has been a bit of a struggle for me, honestly. So I'm trying to focus on munching more, but munching clean. And it's a little difficult when you are eating too clean, at least with my body type, to put on weight. At least that's how I feel most days so it's uh, an ongoing project although I would say this year is probably one of my biggest and leanest I've been I'm just over 220 I believe I don't know my body fat percentage but you guys show abs and things so that's a good sign just uh, much 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 more work to be done if I'm ever going to compete and take it seriously but there's a little update for you guys a little warm up and I think what I'm gonna do now is take you guys along to go get a good post-workout meal uh, from a nice little restaurant over here in Pismo Beach and I'll see you guys there. It's definitely only 10.30 but I'm so getting a sushi bowl right now. <laughs>
So I would eat this because right, it's carb heavy, which fits my body type, and to recuperate and refill my body after a nice solid back day with a ton of protein, both in the chicken bowl and then in the California roll here. It's just a nice little uh, healthier option if I'm gonna go out and eat, so I really prefer this and it tastes good. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I got, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. So I definitely switched to a fork. There's the chopsticks. A little challenging today to munch all this rice and cabbage and chicken without a fork, so the American way. What more can I say?